Hi there. Welcome to Small Business Coffee Break, the video series where we take a few minutes to work on your business, not just in it. Today we talk with Lillian Sir of Sir & Associates about what does it mean to pierce a corporate veil. Lillian has over 20 years of experience in corporate and real estate law. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get into it. Oftentimes, especially with small businesses, um, there is something that's called piercing the corporate veil. And even though you may have uh, every, you have done everything correctly as far as creating the company, uh, in whatever corporate entity you choose, it is very important to keep um, all the finances separate. You cannot use the, uh, the the company's checking account, for example, as your own personal account to pay your personal bills. Uh, there, it's very difficult to pierce a corporate veil in Florida. Um, business owners are pretty protected under the law and then there are different factors that the other side must meet in order to get to an individual and one of those is combining uh, resources okay. or using it, personally so corporate um, resources. When, when I when I when we met through a lunch and learn and 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 through that I you know one of my favorite terms I learned in all of 2018 was uh, legal fiction <laughs> keeping up the legal fiction. That's so, correct. because it's 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 as we were talking, this isn't a separate entity. It's a a, a family member of mine. Mm -hmm. um, but in order to make sure that the law sees it that way, we have to make sure that everything it, that there's a clear delineation between one entity and me as the individual in the entity, right? So, it, and that's where the, the the part of that piercing the corporate veil, uh, you know, could could fall. We don't want to mi mix all that money together. We shouldn't be paying our personal bills with the corporate money and we really shouldn't be paying our corporate bills with our personal, with personal money. money. Um, because that way, you know, there's ways of structuring it. That's why we have accountants exactly. for, you know, loans and so on and so forth that an individual can make to its own company. But but we want to make sure that, that, that all that's taken care of from both a legal perspective um, and, the, and an accounting perspective. So you were paying attention in that lunch <laughs> and learn. A little bit, a little bit. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask Lillian, I put her contact information in the description below. If you have any questions you'd like me to ask Lillian or any other professional in their field, my contact information is also in the description. See you next week for another cup of coffee and more questions answered.